Hey, 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 welcome back to comicbook.com second printing. It is May 19th. Happy birthday to the Phantom Menace. Star Wars Episode 1 turns sweet 16 today. Today we're talking Fast and Furious 8, a Marvel vs. DC animated movie, The Avengers in China and Arrow's fourth season. First of all, this weekend at a press event for his new movie, San Andreas, Dwayne Johnson, a.k.a. The Rock, confirmed that he'll be back for the 8th Fast and Furious film. He didn't stop there, though. He also hinted that there is a possibility, and it's been talked about, a Luke Hobbs standalone movie spinning off of that franchise. Now, I love that character. I love that franchise. I'd love to see it. Is this Dwayne Johnson's big franchise character? It'd be about time. Next up, a Marvel vs. DC movie will probably never happen. We've seen it a few times in the comics, but thanks to YouTube user Subrahan Saral, we can get an itty-bitty little taste of what it might be like. He put together a 10-minute video showcasing the superhero showdowns from the rival comic companies, including Batman vs. Iron Man and Spidey facing off with Green Lantern. It's really epic. It's awesome. But who do you think would win? <laughs> Speaking of winning, the Avengers are still winning the box office, at least in China, despite Pitch Perfect 2 singing their way to the top of the charts here in America and even topping Mad Max. Age of Ultron opened in China to the biggest non-weekend open ever on Tuesday and raked in $156.3 million in its first weekend there. That's the second biggest opening in China, bringing the Avengers sequel to $1.1 billion worldwide. And finally, Arrow's third season wrapped up last week. I'll keep it spoiler free here because I just caught up and I would hate to have that stuff spoiled for me, so I won't do it to you. But the show's producer, Mark Guggenheim, did say to io9 that the show will take on a much lighter tone next season, the fourth season. Now, that's not to say that it's going to go as light as The Flash. It's going to keep some of those Arrow things we've come to love, those elements of darkness, but it's going to get a little bit lighter. It's going to bridge that gap. On top of that, though, Stephen Amell said he has worn the Arrow suit for the last time. Personally, I think that that just means he might be getting a little bit of an upgrade and maybe a name change. Anyway, what do you want to see from Season 4 of Arrow? Do you want to see a Luke Cobb spin-off movie, Marvel vs. DC? Let me know your thoughts on this week's stories on Twitter, at Brandon Davis PD. I really do love hearing from you guys. Please make sure you subscribe to ComicBook.com's YouTube channel for more news, interviews, and clips. And follow us on Twitter, at ComicBook.com, so you don't miss a thing. Tonight's the Flash finale. I heard it's heartbreaking. I gotta go get ready for it.